Welcome to another session of Mommy Teo Teaches Math. Our most essential learning competency is draw conclusion about the population mean based on the test statistic value and rejection region. Okay, when do we accept or reject the null hypothesis? So we will be having this, of course, four steps. Number one, solve the problem using the appropriate test statistics. You have to use the Z and the T formulas, of course, for this. Number two, determine the critical value using the appropriate statistical tables. So you have the two-tailed and one-tailed tests, of course, for the Z distribution and the T distribution. Number three, draw the rejection region and the critical value. So you have to draw it using the normal curve, of course. Four, if the test value or the computed value falls in the rejection region, then reject the null hypothesis. When we reject the null hypothesis, of course, we accept the alternative hypothesis. Otherwise, of course, the opposite. Accept the null hypothesis and, of course, reject the alternative hypothesis. Example one, a new drug on the market is claimed by its manufacturer to reduce overweight women by 4.55 kilograms per month with a standard deviation of 0.91 kilograms. 10 women were chosen at random, have reported losing an average of 4.05 kilograms within a month. Do this data Support the claim of the manufacturer at 0 0.05 level of significance? Okay, we will be answering that later. So, in our previous videos, we already solved for the test statistic value, of course, of this problem. And we have Z is equal to negative 1.738. Let us identify the null and the alternative first. Okay, our now hypothesis here is, of course, population mean is equal to 4.55. And our population mean is not equal, of course, to 4.55. So we use the two-tailed test here. Two-tailed. And we have the Z. You look for, of course, the significant level, which is 0 0.05. Okay. The critical value here will be Z is equal to positive and negative 1.960. So using, of course, our normal curve, 1.960. Negative 1.960. So here is our curve here. Okay. And then our rejection region will be this and this one. Now, we are done with, of course, number one, number two, and number three. Number four, if the test value or the computed value, what is our computed value? Our computed value is negative 1.738. And obviously, this one is greater than negative 1.960. It falls here. This one is accept. And this one is the region of rejection. So therefore, if the test value or the computed value falls in the rejection region, so it is not in the rejection region, it is, of course, in the region of acceptance. So, therefore, null hypothesis here is, of course, accepted. Because negative falls here in the region of acceptance. So, the null Null hypothesis is accepted and of course, the alternative hypothesis is rejected. Example number two, it is hypothesized that the cost of making a movie is 24.6 million. This year, a random sample of 15 movies has shown an average production cost of 
8.3 million with a standard deviation of 9.5 million. At 0 0.01, level of significance is the hypothesized cost true. So we will see. So in this case, we already solved for the T statistic. So this is the T statistic value and that is 1.508. Of course, our N here should be considered which is 15 because this one is T. We will be using, of course, the T distribution. So our DF, therefore, is equal to 15 minus 1. So our DF is 14, or degrees of freedom. Now, our level of significance is 0 0.01. Okay. So let us identify now the null and the alternative hypothesis. The null is mu is equal to 24.6 million and of course is not equal to 24.6 million. This one is our alternative hypothesis. So we already have the first one, the second one, and then the third one. So we will go to the third one now. By the way, we have to get first the critical value of, of course, the T. This one is two-tailed. You look for the two-tailed. Why two-tailed? Because this one is not equal to. And then you look for the T distribution. DF14, 0 0.01 level of significance. Our T value, which is the critical there, critical value is positive negative 2.9. 768. Okay, so let us go now to number three. Number three is the rejection region and the critical value. Let us draw it. So we have 2.9768, negative 2.9768. This one is, of course, our rejection region. Let us compare. Our T is 1.508 is less than 2.976. So we have 1.508 is less than 2.9768. 1.508 is here in the region of acceptance. So therefore, we can say that it says here, if the test value, the computed value falls in the rejection, then reject the null. So it does not fall in the rejection region. So therefore, we accept the null hypothesis. And of course, reject the alternative Hypothesis. Going back to the question, at 0 0.01 level of significance, is the hypothesized cost true? Of course, this one is since accept the null hypothesis, therefore it is three. A sociologist believes that it costs more than 90000 to raise a child from birth to age one. A random sample of 49 families, each with a child, is selected to see this if this figure is correct. The average expenses for these families reveal a mean of 92,000 with a standard deviation of 4,500. Based on this sample data, can it be concluded that sociologist is correct in his claim? We will find out. Use 0 0.05 level of significance. Okay, so this one is Z-test. No need for us to get the DF or degrees of freedom. So we will be identifying, of course, the level of significance, which is 0 0.05. We need to identify the critical value. How? Of course, let us give first the null and the alternative hypothesis. The null hypothesis is mu is equal to 90,000. So our... Alternative is mu is greater than 90,000. This is, of course, our alternative. And this one is one-tailed, particularly right-tailed. Okay, so 
Let us now get, of course, the critical value of this. You look for two-tailed and you have to look for the Z table at 0 0.05. You will be getting there positive and negative 1.645. Okay. So let us draw now. This is 1.645. This is negative 1.645. This is the region of rejection. This is not included because this one is greater than. So this one is greater than. Let us compare. 3.111 is greater than 1.645. So this computed value is at the rejection region it falls in the rejection region therefore we reject the null hypothesis reject the null hypothesis and of course accept the alternative hypothesis. example number four the government claims that 10000 is the monthly expenses of a Filipino family with four members. A sample of 26 families' expenses has a mean of 10900 and a standard deviation of 1250 Is there enough evidence to reject the government's claim at 0 0.01? We will see. So this one is number four. Solve the problem using the appropriate test statistic. Let us identify the given. So, population mean, we have 10,000. And then we have N, 26. We have, of course, sample mean, 10,900. And we have, of course, the standard deviation of... 1250 so let us compute first the test statistic so we will be using here t this is t is equal to sample mean minus population mean times square root of n divided by of course ds so we have t this is 10900 minus 10000 Multiplied by square root of 26 divided by the S, 1250. Your T there will be 3.671. Okay, so our T is 3.671. Our N is 26. We need to get the DF for degrees of freedom. We have 26 minus 1, it's 25. And then after that, we have to identify, of course, the null and the alternative. The null here will be is equal to, what is this? Is equal to 10,000. And of course, this one is not equal to 10,000. Okay. So we will be using here two tailed. And then we will be using here T distribution. T distribution. You look for the level of significance that is 0 0.01. Okay. Look for 0 0.01 level of significance to tailed. And then T distribution, DF25. So you will be getting their their t is equal to positive and negative 2.7874 okay so let us now draw the rejection region we have 2.7874 and we have a negative 2.7874 this one is our rejection region, of course. Now, let us compare. 3.671 is greater than 2.7874. And it falls here. 
it's here that is 3.671 so therefore we reject the null hypothesis and accept accept of course the alternative okay so therefore is there enough evidence to reject the government's claim so that is yes